Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be doing is continuing to work on our enemy tank, and we're going to be giving them uh, artificial intelligence of sorts. Uh, so to start, uh, we're going to scroll, go ahead and scroll down, uh, and what we want to go to is uh, the tank firing option. Where is that? Okay, so fire shell. And I thought we would get away with doing like a simple like editing of this fire shell function, but the enemy tank is going to go through some analysis to decide where he wants to shoot his uh, shell. So um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of these old options here. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and copy. And since we're, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, this as well. So it, within our fire, fire shell function, get rid of these this if statement. So it is only starting shell equals and then the negative equals. So then below that, let's go ahead and paste and scroll up. And now we're going to call this, uh, let's make some space though. We're going to call this E underscore fire shell. So that's E for enemy. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get rid of this if statement again, only this time we leave the plus equals like that. And then E fire shell, we have to go down a little bit to where we call it. And we'll do uh, E underscore fire shell. And then we'll get rid of this tank enemy parameter. And real quick, um, let's just run there really fast, see if, if uh... OK, so our enemy tank is firing. But the problem, of course, is that the enemy tank does not have any sort of idea about where or why he's firing. So um, now that we made those, those quick changes, let's go ahead and go up to eFire. And how might we actually uh, solve this problem? Like, how might we actually have the enemy tank figure out where he wants to shoot? Well, first of all, this artificial intelligence, he, you know, we're not going to write a script that, like, looks at, at the image of the game and says, okay, there's this blob of X tank here, and we're going to fire and try to hit him. Like I was saying in the beginning, a lot of video game is stuff is just kind of illusion or uh, deception, really. Um, as far as so, like when it comes to, like uh, your enemy's intelligence, they're not actually intelligent. Um, it's a very uh, calculated um, process usually that we go through to determine, you know, like where, like for example, for firing the shell, you'll see that we're basically basically going to brute force our way through finding the best method to fire. And then what we do is we add a slight degree of random, randomness to it. And then that degree of randomness that we add to that will kind of add more randomness or take away randomness. And that will be the difficulty of our enemy. So if we have a really hard elite enemy, he's not going to be very random in his deviation from the perfect shot. If we have a poor shot enemy or a really easy enemy, he's not going to be super accurate. He's going to have a lot of randomness to his shot. So he might actually only hit you one out of ten times, whereas the really good one is going to hit you, you know, one, at least one out of every two times. But probably like two out of three or something. So anyway, E fire shell, uh, you've got, you know, your, your, your random height here. You've got all the barrier stuff. Now we're going to go ahead and pass a couple more variables. And we're going to say P tank X and P tank Y. What's that mean? That's the player tank X, player tank Y. So we're going to go ahead and stuff in the player's location. So E fire shell will come down here. Um, and we'll come all the way down, <laughs> down to where we call it. Here we go. So E fire shell. And now we want the X and Y coordinates of our uh, player tank. So we'll just copy this and paste and paste. And my dog is making a whole bunch of noise out here. Let me let me kick him out real quick. Ugh. All right, uh, where was I? So main tank X, main tank Y. So that's where the player tank is. So now we'll come right, right back up to our uh, our firing function. So E fire shell. Now how will we figure out where uh, where we're going to shoot the shell? Basically. We only have one major variable that we're trying to find, and that is power. And there's all kinds of ways that we could do it. We could possibly figure out uh, what, what it would take for this algorithm uh, right here to hit the numbers, but there's an even slightly easier way to do this, 
and that is to just simulate the fires. Okay, so we're Monte Carloing basically um, to find our answer. Uh, so we'll come down here. So E force, and uh, well, so we'll leave fire. We'll leave like this this bulk of code that's still going to run eventually. But what we're going to do is modify basically uh, gun power. Um, so we pretty much don't need that anymore soon. But you know, I will say current power, and we'll say right now that equals one. And then we're going to have a variable called power underscore found, and that's going to equal false for now. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say while not uh, power found, what do we want to do? We want to fire a bunch of shells. <laughs> that's exactly what we want to do. So uh, while not power found, we'll go ahead and do uh, current power uh, plus equals one. We're going to do that now or at the very end. It would be the probably better place. but. I don't think one or two percent is going to be the answer, so that's fine. So current power plus equals one. Then we're going to say fire equals true, and basically run this code right here minus the prints, pretty much. Um, and and the the we're going to run these checks. Yeah, so we'll basically run all this. So we'll copy this and let's go ahead and paste that here. And now let's go ahead and shift it over because this is not um, so one tab. Now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all these print statements first of all. Uh, we don't need that. And we're just gonna clean up um, most of this. Uh, we do want the shell to hit the ground and stop at that point. Um, we do care if it hits the barrier. Obviously, that was no good. We'll go ahead and get rid of these print statements regarding the barrier. It was false. And then basically what we're going to ask is um, for the one where we hit the ground, um, basically right here, uh, the, the question is, you know, it's going to throw an explosion. And the question is, is that explosion by the players, by the player, right? So what we can ask is if uh, P tank X plus 15 is greater than uh, the hit X while that is simul well hit X is simultaneously greater than P tank X minus 15, so the location of our tank. Um, that means we found the proper um, proper information. So what would we do? Well, we would print. Uh, whoops, we will print. Uh, Target acquired, and then what will we do? Uh, what will we do next? And that would be power underscore found equals uh, equals true. Now, um, what we want to do is um, basically we can run it at this point. Oh, we need to change true to true, and uh, so that'll give us the target acquired, and then we have power found equals true. And then we'll now current power will have been modified to the perfect power level uh, that we want. That's why we modify it immediately there. Um, so then uh, when we go to, to actually fire, we can scroll down here and uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm all lost. Uh, fire equals two starting shell while fire blah 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 blah. And basically we have gun power. Instead of gun power, we would want that variable to be current power so we would just change that to current power there and that should do it so um, let's go ahead and run that <laughs> we'll see we'll see if that worked out uh, fire uh oh got a massive explosion going on over here first of all we're rendering every explosion that's a problem uh, Let's go back up to e fire. Uh, so let's stop. Let's stop doing that. Uh, stop. Stop drawing the uh, <laughs> the uh, thing there. And then we also don't want to be exploding. Let's go ahead and stop the explosion from occurring there. And so that's if the explosion. And then also we don't need any explosion there either. Although I'm not sure. I, I don't understand why I didn't move, but. Uh, yeah, we want to throw a quick, um, basically right here. We're we're just gonna say if current.
power is greater than 100, we're going to go ahead and say power underscore found equals true. So that'll get us out of uh, that. Now, what I'm a little concerned about now at this point is why that hit. See, like, our hit. Oh, okay, so now he did fire, and <laughs> apparently it says... Oh well, he fired. Okay, well, what he did was he found 100% and took his fire and took a shot. Uh, for some reason, he's not finding uh, the player tank. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the the problem is a, a really stupid problem. So so the way that we're doing is we're, we're brute forcing the the solution here, and the way that we do that, if you recall, what affects like the power, like what is the shot of the power? Well, uh, that was right down here, right? Gun power. So I was not uh, replacing that variable. So what we need to do is we need to take current power and we need to put current power divided by 50. Uh, we need to put that in there. Otherwise, there's absolutely no change. It's 50. So if, the, if that 50% power shot didn't make it, we would have gone on forever. So anyway, let's try that one more time. Uh, play, and we'll go ahead and fire. And then enemy tank fires, and yeah, he hits us. Uh, we'll move, fire, enemy tank fires, and boom, yeah, he hits us. And we'll go ahead and hide over here, fire, <laughs> and boom, yeah, enemy tank hits us. Now, let's go ahead and move our tank right here, though. And we'll fire, we miss, and then the you can you know that the tank ran through one, all 100 options because it, you know, it clearly shot a 100% shot. Uh, so that's what I mean, and, and also that's why brute forcing is... It, it, it's instant, right? So I fire, he fires. It's like an instant thing. It just, it just, it ran through all of the options pretty much instantly. So now, um, as you can see, I mean, he's just, he's going to demolish us. So obviously, we'd want some degree of randomness here. Otherwise, we're we're never gonna win. Uh, but that's how we know what the perfect shot is. Then we can add a little bit of randomness to it, and then we can also. Um, depending on you know the shot right so the shot might be a perfect direct hit and or the shot might be a little bit off something like that uh, so we want to do damage based on how good the shot actually was and we actually have to do damage which we have not done yet so uh, yes yeah, so we still got a few more things to do but uh, hopefully you guys have been enjoying as always thanks for watching and until the next video